We're recording. I have my notes. Cue the intro. Alright, the fifth episode of Ruby has come out, and it's a teaser. It's four and a half minutes long, and it just teases you. Curse you, Monty Ulm. Curse you and everybody who helped work on it. Yet, this episode wasn't without its epic and funny moments. They were both there. For one, there was the landings. Everybody had to land after being catapulted in the previous episode. Uh, each person used their tools and weapons to help them land, uh, either to uh, help swing from a tree or ease their landing or just break through a tree. Or Yang even used her uh, golden gauntlets to catapult herself forward, which I believe she was doing so she could put as much distance between her and Ruby, since she wanted Ruby to be partnered with somebody else to help with her social problems. The only person who doesn't really land is Jean. He is saved by Pyrrha because she throws her spear, which then catches him on a tree before he hits the ground. Which brings me to talk about Pyrrha's weapon. Not only does she have a spear, she also has a shield, which she's going to be using probably for defense. Yet, that shield can probably have a lot of different capabilities due to the fact that her spear is not only a spear, but it's also a sword, it's also a rifle, and her spear can be catapulted by mini rocket propellers that are in it. This chick has it all. So basically once Ruby lands, she's trying to figure out who she wants to be teamed up with, her first. Of, of course, her first uh, choice is Yang, but then she thinks about Jean and Blake, but who does she get paired up with? We all guessed it twice. Why? Because it's going to be hilarious. And Weiss, of course, automatically dislikes this idea and turns around, only to then see Jean. Ruby? Or Jean? Pick the less of two evils. So she takes Ruby and walks off into the woods. And then Pyrrha comes along to pick up her spear, and thus Jean and Pyrrha become a team. And as they walk, Weiss is explaining to Ruby how she doesn't want to be held up or anything like that. And Ruby proceeds to tell her that Weiss is going to see a totally different side of her, that she's amazing when it comes to fighting, which we've seen in the first episode. She was pretty awesome when she took down those robbers. And then, of course, what does this lead to? It leads to an epic conclusion where a monster is revealed, and it's going to attack Weiss. Now, uh, characteristics about this monster that I want to relay. It's bipedal. It walks on two legs, yet it has long arms, which means that it can probably then, you know, go on all fours and still be able to move really fast. Also, this monster has spines or bones coming out of its back, its arms, its legs. These are probably to be used as uh, weapons as well as defense, probably for slashing, stabbing, uh, blocking. I mean, if they're made of bone, they're going to be hard. And then it has, you know, the whole scary teeth thing going on. It has red eyes, so it's scary, and it's, it has black fur, or feathers, I couldn't really tell. Anyway, it's scary. And also, it has some sort of a bone mask on it with red lines. Now, another mask like this was seen on Adam from the Black trailer. And now, I know you guys previously have talked about how the monster's masks look like Adam's mask. There could be a connection, especially if Adam and Blake were part of the White Fang Society who are all, like, for those animals' rights and all that, defending them. Until a more... What's the word I'm looking for? 
until more information really comes in, uh, I'm just going to once again put that on hold. I mean, there could be a connection, there probably is a connection, but I don't want to set anything in stone until we're all sure and or the uh, facts of the series basically show it. But basically, that's all there is to talk about this episode. There, It was basically part two of the first step, and it was four and a half minutes. Once again, it's a teaser. But what's going to happen in the next episode, there's definitely going to be fighting, because Weiss and Ruby are going to have to escape from the creatures. There's probably going to be other teams being formed in the next episode, probably Yang and Blake. And we'll probably see uh, the other... Uh, teams such as Pira, uh, Jean, Ray, and Nora probably doing something. And that's basically going to do it for me. Short video this time, but it just makes us anticipate next week even more. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, yeah!